the, about two months ago, the governor of Zamfara, Matalawi, said that the, every, every, every citizen in their state should carry arms. You know what? You know, you know how the governor feel before bringing that policy. And chief of army staff, chief of defense start criticizing him. You can't save the life of the people and you are criticizing them that they should not defend yourself. You are welcome to Drive TV. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing so you won't miss out any of our latest video. We have some Yorubas who work as a kidnapper, who involved in kidnapping. And most of the, the terrorists that kidnap in Yoruba land, they have Yoruba as their agent. Who prepare food for them in the forest? Is it not the Yoruba people? Who give them the information that, about those who are rich that they can collect money from? They are you know, they are these Yoruba people who are their agents. So a lot is happening. And that was one of the reasons. We said for Nigeria to be a better country, if the people in authority and the political players want a better country, we must go back to the basis, how we got independent. And how do we got to, what are we doing? What is the government we are running when we got independent? We run a federalism on the basis of physical federalism, on the basis of regionalism, structuring to regionalism. And if you are not ready to restructure, Nigeria will break. In 2015, I was talking about National Conference, National Conference reports. In 2016, I was talking about National Conference report. But now, the event has overtaken it. What we need is beyond the recommendation of the National Conference. It's beyond that. Regional autonomy. Anything short of regional, we don't need, we don't want uh, uh, statism. Statism, we bring, we give the power to the governor to become emperor. Statism will, will be, we will bring a situation where we go back to a necessary unitary system of government again. Statism will give a power to some states that they will become lord in their state. But a regionalism, federal, region, state, and local government give room for check and balances of governance. In the, in the 50s, everybody, in, we have three regions. And every region has a way of developing. We were making our money by then through agriculture, cash crops. And the, the northern region were making their money through cuttings. Northern pyramid. The east were making their money through coal. And there was a serious economic competitivity by then. That's why we are talking about regionalism. If you are saying states, the level of development may not be equal. The poor, the poor states in the region, all the states cannot be poor without having resources. And if they, if they don't have much resources, they manage their governance, build an infrastructure. Most of the country in Europe do not have mineral resources. I'm a regular traveler. I've traveled to about 56 countries. Most of the country in Europe do not have solid mineral, do not have uh, crude oil. They were running up based on the infrastructure they built, based on taxes. When you give a portable, a good road, you give lights uninterrupted, pipe bone water to every house. Instead of, uh, uh, apart from this, uh, compared to this uh, borehole that is giving people sickness. The water that is not well treated. When you get to many hospitals, typhoid. What's the problem? It's true water that was not well treated. The water you are using to cook is not well treated. But in Europe, every house was given a water by the government. And you pay for it. They give you light, you pay for it. The money we are paying for electricity is going to a private company, and a private company is giving a peanut to the federal government. You can imagine the amount Lagos State will generate if they are controlling their electricity in Lagos State. Lagos State will generate nothing less than 80 to 100 billion in a month on electricity. And all the, all the, all the factories, 
all the industry that are dead, they will, re they will be revived. We be revive. Your, your state will generate nothing less than 60 billion from electricity. Augusta will generate about 50, 45 to 50. On those days, we generate 25 to 30 or 40. In this state, we generate 15 or 10 billion era in electricity. Because the more you have the electricity, more creative the citizen of the state will be creative will be more creative and innovation in business and water when you sell water by the government lagos state will make nothing less than in water bringing a pipe bone water to all houses lagos state will generate nothing less than 50 billion in a month or your state will generate nothing less than 15 to 20 billion let me say 12 billion other state we generate let's say 13 billion or 20 billion. It will generate like three or four billion. Waste bin. When you run your waste bin, government control it. Lagos say we know how much Lagos State is generating from the waste bin. And when there's a policy that Lagos the state will take care of it and, and the local government, you will generate a lot of money. Those are three things. And uh, and a good economy, we analyze about 15 things that the government will generate money without talking of uh, mineral resources. No, Are you considering the place of corruption in all of these? Because those that we even run this regional government are the same people that have been accused of corruption at the same Look, time. when there is a regional system, the level of corruption will be low. You can't steal Nigeria money anyhow the way you are stealing money in Nigeria. The, 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 the people in the, in the federal power shared many people that steal money that belong to their party. You can't steal Nigeria, Yoruba money anyhow. When you are in the social club of Yoruba person, Yoruba will fall. The first thing they will ask you, read the minute, let, let us see how much we have in our account. Tell us how much they are spending that money. Accountability is part of our system in Yoruba land. We are like a British. But because we have a government, we have already joined ourselves to a, a, a structure that they couldn't care on the basis of accountability to their system in the north. Was this system forced on the Yorubans? It has or to be forced because we are in the same country. When Papa Olawa was running Western India within 1953 to 1999, uh, 1959, how many houses did Papa Olawa have? The only people that have money when Papa Olawa was in power, they are contractors. That supply goods. Those who run the governance, they don't have money. And if we hear that I don't have any estates, it's by his own chamber. Crude brief as a lawyer. Baba did not embezzle any money. Any panel set up that indicted Baba Temi in Western region. And most of the governor of UPN were living in their house, they were not living in their government house. And their house is not even beautiful up to this. They are contented. But when, when we changed the system in 1966, through Agu Rossi and, and, uh, and, uh, and the, 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 the person in power go on, see a blackhead check of opportunity. And he embraced the unitary system of government. And they started creating a state that favored the North and local government. Favored the north more than the more than the more than the south, and uh, a bush will be created as a local government. They will just build three, four houses as a sectarian, and they will be giving them allocation. So we know what we are saying about federalism, and they refuse to accept federalism because of the lopsided aspect of our policies, and they are having the problem. Man. They are feeling the pain on the basis of insecurity more than ours. The, about two months ago. The governor of Zafar, Matalawi, said that the, every, every, every citizen in their state should carry arms. You know what? You know you know how the governor feel before bringing that policy, and chief of army staff, chief of defense start criticizing him. You can't save the life of the people, and you are criticizing them that they should not defend yourself. And if I don't raise the intel of what what will happen, what happened in the bush. Of Ilefe and in between Ibadan and Abekuta, we don't know what will happen within next one week. They want me to assist, they call me, it's in the 
press statement is paragraph by paragraph. And I even give a suggestion that they should look beyond Amoteco. Most of the Amoteco Cup is being given 45,000, 50,000 era. They can still raise our 150 people in each local government, giving them stipend of 25, 20 to 25,000 era. That will be a local security that will back up the Amoteco. Amoteco should be in the state level, the, the, the volunteers. Local security network. Who are volunteers? We back up Amateco. Thank you for watching. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing so you won't miss out any of our latest video. My name is Akian Abi. I'm a video director and TV producer of Akomolowe on African Magic. Keep watching Drive TV. Hello, Lucy. Drive TV. Atibuwe Yiti Femi Sola. Emma Wu Drive TV. Keep watching. Drive TV. My name is Wali Yadba. Taking this time out to tell you all that you keep watching Drive TV. What drive there was no go? What drive there was fulfillment? What drive there was to be told by law? Oh, Even if I'm out, Drive TV. Thank you, Chloe. Drive TV. Driving you around the world.